today we're gonna have a really fun magic show. Does anybody here know a magic word we could use for today? Right here in front, what's your magic word? Have a banana. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, magic doesn't have a banana. I don't want a banana. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say abracadabra? Yeah. I thought you said have a banana. <laughs> abracadabra is great. Thank you. One more. Does anybody ever magic word they like? Yes, right on. Yep. Go ahead. Did you ever give a hocus pocus? Hocus pocus. Very good. Thank you. You know what? These are great magic words, but I have special magic words for today. You need to know my magic words to help me make the magic work. Today's real special magic word will be broccoli tacos. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Those aren't the magic words. That's what I had for breakfast. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Actually, today, we are going to be talking about reading, okay? You guys have a really cool summer reading game, Dream Big Read. So cool. So today's magic words will be I love to read. When I come to Tranny Dear Nice Love, I love to read. Here we go. One, two, three. I love to read. Uh, that was all right. Oh, I actually, I forgot something though. Everybody put up one hand. Put up two fingers and wiggle them like little rabbit ears. Keep wiggling. Now when I come to Tranny Dear Nice, I love to read while you're wiggling your rabbit ears. Here we go. One, two, three. I love to read. Give yourself a nice round of applause. Very good. Okay, we are going to talk about reading in the Dream Big Read theme this year, which is so cool. But before we begin, I have to tell you guys something about my magic shows. My magic shows are a little bit different because you are going to make the magic work today. Raise your hand if you think you can help me make the magic work today. Okay, but to make magic work, you have to be able to follow my directions. Raise your hand if you can follow my directions. Okay, it's so important that we do have to practice. So I brought something with me we're going to practice on. It's actually my favorite coloring book. Raise your hand if you like the color. Okay, well this is my favorite coloring book because it's filled with pictures of magicians, rabbits, everything that has to do with magic. Well, we're going to try to color this in, but we're not going to use markers and crayons. That'd be way too easy. We're going to use magic. So, I need everybody to reach down and pull an imaginary color off your shirt. Oh, just pull an imaginary color off your shirt. Don't pull a real color off because your mom will get mad at me. <laughs> Hold your imaginary color. When I count to three, you're going to whisper the color you're holding and you're going to throw it in my book. So I can do it like this. Can you get your color? We need a nice quiet whisper. It's gonna be so cool in the country. Whisper your color, throw it in the book. It's gonna be colored with magic. It's gonna be totally amazing. Here we go. Good whisper. Now you guys can see all the great colors that you magically put. You don't look very impressed. Hey! Oh, wait, wait, wait! I'm sorry, I know I forgot. I forgot to mention, I need everybody to help. So everybody, we sound grabby color. That last whisper was so good. Let's try exactly the same. Here we go, it's gonna be so cool. Good whisper. <laughs> now you guys can see all the great colors. And magically Hey! That's, that's not her. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know what you're afraid I forgot. When you do this trick inside, you're supposed to grab a color with two hands. Hey, everybody, reach down, grab a color with both hands. Okay, that last whisper was awesome. Let's try it again. It's gonna be so cool. Let's see if you guys did anything this time. Cool, can you clap and go yay for yourself? You know, you guys did a great job coloring this book in with your magic, but there's actually a tiny problem. You see, 
I need to use this book fair show. I do. If I had to go buy a new book fair show, it'd cost me billions of dollars. So I need your help. It's a little different. Listen carefully. This time when I count the three, you're going to yell out your color and you're going to pull it out of the book. So instead of whispering and throwing, we're going to yell out our color, pull it right back out of the book. That way I'll have the pictures in here. You take your colors back and I'll be ready for my next show. So both hands up. So on the count of three, whisper your color, pull it back out. Here we go. One, two, three. Very good. Now I have the pictures back in there. You guys took all your colors back. So now I can. <laughs> what's so funny? Raise your hand if you tell me what's so funny. This young lady right here, what's your laughing at? Um, there's a blank piece of paper on every single page. You're trying to trick me. Nice try. Is she. Serious, everybody? I don't know. I'm going to show you where the pictures are. Like usual, they're right inside my coloring book. Ah! What? You guys weren't supposed to take the pictures. I really need your help. Everybody reach out and grab an imaginary pencil. OK, it's a little bit different, so you to listen carefully. This time when I count to three, you're going to use your normal voice. So you're not going to yell. You're going to use your normal voice and you're going to say the word pictures and use your imaginary pencil to draw some pictures in here, okay? Get your pencil. On the count of three, normal voice, say pictures. We need to fix this. One, two, three. Pictures. Very good. Let's see if you guys fix it. Cool. Can you clap and go yay? Clapping, but where's the A? Every clapping, yeah! Yay! Thank you. <laughs> okay, crisscross applesauce. Great job. Now, during the show, you will hear me ask you to say crisscross applesauce a lot, but it's actually important for the show, okay? Because if you get up on your knees or you stand up, the people seated behind you, they can't see very good. Alright? The other thing is, sometimes during my shows it gets kind of exciting. And you might want to run up here and show me something. You can't do that, okay? Because a lot of times I turn around to go get something. If I turn around and I don't see you come up here and I turn back around, we're going to run into each other and somebody might get hurt. Okay? So I just ask that you stay seated. Okay, raise your hand if you're excited about the summer reading program. Dream big and read. Okay. You know what? The cool part is it, it's perfect. Dream big and read. You guys, how many people have big dreams? people they want to become, things they want to do. Well, the cool part is whenever you read, it's like stepping into a dream. Okay, you can go to all these different places, really cool places. You can become anybody you want to be. You can become a teacher, a doctor, a lawyer, even a magician like me, if you become a good reader, okay? And when it's kind of yucky out, you can open up a book like Harry Potter and you can be a wizard for the day, okay? So whatever dreams you can dream, you can kind of accomplish those dreams in a book, okay? And books are going to help you all through life, all right? So it's important that we become good readers. Now, I got to tell you about one of my friends who had a really big dream, okay? But there was a little problem. You see, I have a friend whose dream was to be in the circus. How many people have been to the circus? Oh, cool. Well, my friend's dream was to be in the circus, but the problem was he's really, really small. Okay? But you know what? Through reading, he became part of the circus, so he filled his dreams. And actually, I have my friend with me. Would you guys like to meet him today? Yeah. What? Yeah! You don't have to yell at me. <laughs> okay, before I bring my friend up, let me tell you just a little bit about him. My friend's name is Ronaldo. And Ronaldo is a magic flea. Oh, he's not the type of flea that'll jump in your hair and make your head itchy. Not that type of flea. He's a special magic flea. Still want to meet him? Yeah. Okay, let me go get him. He's really cool. You're going to like him. You get it? Huh? Oh, I did forget. I'm sorry. I always forget to do this. You see, since he's joined the circus, he's become a really big superstar. This is what we need to do. 
My friend Ronaldo is a magic flea, and he's also the world's strongest flea. See, that's his big actor in the circus, is the world's strongest flea. But this is what he needs us to do. Whenever I say Ronaldo is the world's strongest flea, I need you guys to all go, ooh. So let's practice. Ronaldo is the world's strongest flea. Wait, 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 wait. It's not you. It's just like this, just like this. Okay, let me go get him. You're going to like him. One second. Right back here. No. Sorry. <laughs> One second. No. No. <laughs> Forgot where I was for a second. Everybody, my friend Ronaldo lives in this tiny house right here. We're going to get started. Oh, I forgot to tell you something about Ronaldo. Ronaldo? <laughs> is invisible. Let's get started. First, first, super cool trick. I'm going to count the three. Ronaldo's going to jump out of his little house. He's going to do a triple backflip in the air, and he's going to land way over here in my hand. Now, you're not going to be able to see me because he's invisible, but when I point to my hand, that means he's landed there, and you need to give him a big round of applause. So get your hands ready, everybody. Wait till he does it, though. You ready, Ronaldo? Here we go. One. Two, three. <laughs> no, that's okay. Thank you, but I know you're thinking to yourself, I couldn't even see him. Boring. <laughs> Ronaldo, sit on my shoulder. Well, I was telling you guys that Ronaldo's the world's strongest flea. Good job, everybody. <laughs> I want to show you how strong he is, okay? Because this is what he does in the circus. He's the strong flea of the circus. <laughs> Let me grab one more thing. Ronaldo, stay right there, please. Because we're going to use a piece of rope for this. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to hold up one end of this rope. My friend Ronaldo, being so strong, is going to hold up the <laughs> other end. Now, that might not sound very strong to you guys, but you have to remember, Ronaldo's only this big. The rope's like a hundred times his size. Back on my shoulder. But he's going to need your help. Everybody get your rabbit ears up and wiggle. Just like we learned. Yeah, just like this. Okay. I'm going to count to three. Then you guys are going to say the magic words I love to read. Once you say the magic words, he's going to jump off my shoulder, hold up one in the rope. It's going to be totally amazing. Okay? So wiggle your rabbit ears, everybody. Here we go. One. So, like I was telling you guys, when I count to three, then you guys are going to say the magic words that we're going to... What's the matter? What's wrong? He's, hold, he's holding up the rope? Yeah. We haven't said the magic words yet. Everybody put your rabbit ears up and wiggle. You're silly. Here we go. On the count of three, it's going to be so cool. Here we go. One. Two. So, what I was trying to tell you guys Was he holding it again? Yes! You know what? I think he's trying to play tricks on me. Everybody put your rabbit ears up and wiggle. He's just being real silly. Okay, so, when I count to three, what we're going to do is we're going to say the magic words. I guess Ronaldo didn't want to wait for the magic words. How about a nice big round? You know, you guys have to admit, that's pretty strong that my friend Ronaldo can hold up that end of the rope while I'm holding up the other. You know what? Ronaldo's friend jumped in my hand. I don't really know you. You 
you go back in the little house, Ronaldo, you jump in my hand. Now I know you guys can't see my friend Ronaldo because he's invisible. Well, let's give him one more nice round of applause. Cool. Okay. 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 Victims. Two on the 
years. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, before you raise your hand, please listen carefully. I do have one more rule, and it's really important. I have two stars with me on the floor today for an important reason. If I invite you to come up and help, I will ask you to stand on one of them. Here's the important part. You need to be able to stand on the star, and you need to be able to stand still, <laughs> okay? If you come up and you start jumping around acting too silly, I do have to ask you to sit back down and choose something different, just because I don't just start jumping around and fall down and hurt yourself, okay? This is what I look for when I choose helpers. The first thing, oh, hands back down. I can only choose people that are seated all the way down. I can never pick people that are standing up, jumping around, and doing cartwheels. If you want to volunteer to help, only if you want to volunteer to help, you need to raise your hand quietly. <laughs> I can never, ever pick people that raise their hand and start going, you got to pick me. So raise your hand quietly. And finally, I always look for someone with a nice, big, $100 bill. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A nice big smile. Let go. No, no, no. A nice big smile. Ew. Um, you know what? Let's try a normal smile. So seated, hand raised quietly. Normal, not too scary smiles. How about right here in front? Would you like to come up and help? Come right up. I'm going to have you stand here facing towards everybody. Get right in the stuff. Ow, ah, my foot. Real funny. <laughs> and I need one more helper. Hand raised quietly, not too scary a smile. How about this young lady over here? Would you like to come up and help? Come right up. And I'll have you stand right here, facing towards everybody. Ow, ah, my foot! Real funny. <laughs> and right here, what is your name? Emily, say hi to the audience. Audience, can you all say? Oh. <laughs> Let's try it again. Say hi to the audience. <laughs> audience. Hello. That was a little better. How old are you? Six. You're six years old. Can you shake my hand? It's very nice to meet you. Can you stay nice and still? Thank you. And way over here. What's your name? Zachary. Zachary. Say hi to the audience. Hi. Audience, can you all say hello? You're six, it's great to meet you. He's gonna help me out over here. I'm sorry, I was talking to you, it's good to meet you. Cause what were you, I'm sorry, I keep talking. Ow! Ouch! <laughs> Can you stay nice and still for me? Okay, what we're gonna do. You see, I was walking into one of my shows the other day. When I was walking in, I tripped and I dropped some of my stuff on the ground and it got really, really dirty. Now, luckily, the first trick I ever learned how to do was to magically get things clean. Okay, so let me get the stuff I dropped. Drop them on the ground. Get... Ew. Ew is right. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to need to use a lot of magic to get these clean.
you just so we don't bump into each other, okay? Could you put one of those in here? I know they look good up here, but we need them. <laughs> yeah, you can take them both off and separate them if you want. Hey! <laughs> so with that in the bag, we're going to... Hey! Okay, so now what we're... I don't know why you want to keep that. It's all dirty. Okay, let's get that in. Okay, can I have a clothespin? Perfect, thank you. Now when he puts this in there... Okay. Yeah. Can I get a clothespin? Okay. Oh, I need a string too. Yep, it's on your bed. <laughs> put it, stuff it, put it, stuff it, put it, stuff it. <laughs> we finally have everything in the bag. What was your name again? You remember. Great. Emily, I'm going to let you hold my favorite magic wand. I just ask that you're careful. I've had it all my life. Hold on to that. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Because what we're going to do, we're going to wait. The white part, you have to squeeze that really tight. That was my mistake. I have an extra one in here. Oh, there it is. Grab the white part, squeeze it nice and tight. Okay, because what we're going to do is you're going to. Hey! Can I borrow? Can you hold your hand out like I'm doing? Flip it over. There you go. Yeah! Grab that, squeeze it. Good. Now, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put that away. That's going to work very good. I'm going to let you hold the wand, okay? Maybe you won't break it. <laughs> Can you grab the white part right there? Okay, good. Ah! <laughs> you hold that hand. I'm going to push it back together. You stay nice and still. Good, good. Good, good, good. good. Can I borrow that back from... Hey, wait a minute. This show has been brought to you by the letter L. <laughs> Actually, you know what I mean? I was doing my magic show at a birthday party the other day, and the kids decided to make me a really fun magic hat. You get to wear the cool hat today, okay? I have a favor to ask, though. Can you take your hands and glue them to your side? You see, they made this hat for me out of paper. If you reach up and grab it, it might get ripped by mistake. That's all. So keep your hands there. It's going to look really cool on you. It's blue and white. Oh, it kind of matches your shirt. We're going to put that. We're just going to put... You know what? It's actually a little bit too small for you. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Ooh, polka dots. That's going to look cool. Let's try that on. We're going to see what <laughs> You know what? It's still a tiny bit too small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Ooh, red and white. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to put this. Whoa! <laughs> I almost made your head disappear. Sorry. <laughs> actually, I hate to say it, but it's still just a tiny bit too small. This is going to look perfect. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hands up, wiggle. This is how she told me to count. One. 
SpongeBob. Harry! She didn't say that. <laughs> Hands up, we go for real this time on the count of three. I love to read nice and loud. Here we go. One, two, three. I love to read. Can you tap once gently right there with your magic wand? Great job. Once gently right there with your magic wand in the corner. Ah, my finger. <laughs> Try that again. Good job. Thank you. You guys can see, using your magic today, not only did you get these clean, but you hung them up to dry. <laughs> can we clap and go yay for my helpers? Wait, wait, wait. I heard the clap and go, where's the yay? Everybody go yay! Thank you. Stay right there for a second, okay? Yeah! You're so quiet, it scared me. <laughs> I'm gonna borrow that back. You know what? My two helpers did a wonderful job today. I was making the wands break and fall apart. They didn't get too mad at me. Let's clap and go yay from one. Yay! And I got your seat get comfortable. And there you go. Thank you. Okay, crisscross applesauce. So, like I was saying, that came about because I was a very good reader when I was young. I still am. Your dreams, okay? Dream big. Read, read, read. Because whatever you want to become in life, whatever you dream about doing and becoming, you can do that through reading and books, okay? Now, before you start asking, I can't have everybody come up and help me during my show, okay? I've been here for a really long time. But everybody's going to get something to take home with them today. Would you like to see what it is? Yeah. What? Yeah! Fine, Woody. <laughs> okay, before you go home today, everybody's going to get my rabbit repair shop. You see, Mr. Rabbit is missing a few things, and he needs your help. He's missing his whiskers, his buttons, his tie, his tail, and his ears. So what you're going to do is draw all of those onto Mr. Rabbit, and then color this entire picture in. Because once you color this in, it becomes a magic picture. This is how you make the magic work. Once this is colored in, have your mom or your dad help you hang this up. Once it's hanging up, ask them to bend over, give them a big kiss on the cheek, tell them you love them, and that you really like Greg the Magician to come to your birthday party. <laughs> It's just like magic, I'll be there. Okay? So you guys will get these before you leave. Oh, don't go anywhere yet, but as you're leaving, I think, are you going to put those back on the chair after? They'll be on that little chair over there. There's plenty of them, okay? But we're not done having fun yet. Because I have one more friend with me. Would you guys like to meet my friend? Yeah. Okay. Before I bring my friend out, though, I want to tell you a little bit about him, okay? My friend came about because once again, I went to my local library and I found a really cool book. Okay, I'm going to bring it out first and I'll tell you about the book. But here's the thing. My friend has sensitive ears, so we can't yell or scream, okay? Let me see if he's ready to come out. He was taking a quick nap. One second. Come on, we're going to go meet him. What? I'll ask. Are you guys sure you want to meet him? Yeah! Yeah, this is going to He's wondering if you could clap and go yay for him. Yay! He's wondering if you could do it really loud. Yay! Okay, stop. Everybody, this is my puppet friend Malcolm. Can you all say, how to Malcolm? Hi. <laughs> Malcolm likes coming to my shows with me. We have a good time and we're good. Stop. Sorry, I had a red bull in the ride over. Now, what I was trying to tell you guys is that Malcolm likes coming to my shows with me. We're. <sighs> what are you doing? He said he was practicing his dance moves. No, Malcolm, you cannot be one of the Backstreet Bunnies. Ouch. <laughs> I'll ask, but they're going to say no. Malcolm was reading a book the other day and he learned how to play a brand new game. Do you guys want to see him play his game? Yeah! Yeah! Sorry, they all said no way. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Raise your hand if you want to see him.
see him play his game. All right, I'm going to let him play his game, but I must warn you guys, sometimes he cheats. Let me grab something. Now I'm going to stay right there, please. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to hide this carrot. Then I'm going to count to ten. Now I'm going to... Malcolm's going to have 10 seconds to find it. If he can find it without cheating, he gets to keep it. If he cheats, I'm going to keep it for myself. So Malcolm, I need to cup. cover your eyes. Okay, so I'm going to hide the carrot. Then I'm going to start to cover your eyes. Anyway, I'm going to hide the carrot. Wait a minute, is he cheating? I'll catch him this time. What I was trying to hey! You know what, Malcolm? I'm going to give you one more chance to turn your back. Okay, so I'm going to count to ten. Anyway, I'm going to start crying. When is he cheating, everybody? I'll catch him this time. What I was trying to tell you guys, I'm going to say, Couldn't have the carrot, so I'm gonna put it right here, and I'll eat it as a snack. I'm gonna ride home. Now, what I was trying to tell you guys, I'm gonna put that away. Sorry, everybody. Would you stop being silly today? <laughs> you know what? That's a great idea for you cause even more trouble. Malcolm actually has to go right now. Can you guys all say bye, Malcolm? Bye, Malcolm. All right. So, hey. Sorry about that. He's Two, 